uh, today we are going to discuss about the secretion of bile and there's two hormones secretion of As we know that bile is formed in liver and stored in all bladder. So the bile secretion secretion is mainly carried out. by two hormones 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 which are CCK that is cholecystokinin is to time and the second one is secreted these two hormones are responsible for the secretion of bile from the gallbladder and liver so we will discuss each hormone about each hormone First we will discuss about cholecystokinin. C C K. What is C C K? C C K is termed as cholecystokinin. Coli Sisto Kaini. So, what does it mean? Coli mean bile, Sisto mean a sac like structure, sweet, and Kaini mean movement. movement. So from the name it is cleared that it is a hormone containing thirty three amino acids which perform perform the secretion of bile from the gallbladder that is sick gallbladder It is a hormone containing 33 amino acids which perform the secretion of bile from the gallbladder due to the contraction due to the contraction of gallbladder gallbladder so it's a hormone which causes the contraction of the gallbladder so when the gallbladder contract the bile come out and starts move to the down to the duodenum so this hormone is mainly secreted by secreted by 
activate it by endocrine cells endocrine cells of intestine small intestine small intestine so the cholecystokinin is released by the endocrine cells and how this release of cholecystokinin is occurred we will discuss we will discuss later so this is about cholecystokinin it causes the contraction of gallbladder and the second hormone is secretin secretin it is also released by the endocrine cell uh, intestinal cells especially the s cells so it is a hormone it is a hormone containing containing 27 amino acids 27 amino acids so it is shorter than the cholecystokinin it is released secreted secreted by s cells of intestine intestine and the function of this secretin is mainly to regulate the water hemostasis water homeostasis it's mean that it regulate the watery and more environment of watery environment environment of duodenum duodenum so mainly they causes the secretion of it mainly acts on the ductules and ductules of liver and causes the secretion of water and bicarbonate ions so this is the main function of secretin it's a hormone containing 27 amino acids mainly secreted by s cells of intestine small intestine and the uh, main function of the secretin is to regulate the water hemostasis it regulate the watery environment of the duodenum its main function is the secretion of water and bicarbonates from the small smaller ductules of liver now we will discuss according to the diagram it's 
Bölüm. Bizi savunuyor. Sınav bizi seri çok bölüyor. I simply make smaller details. These are the electives which combine and form duct and then these ducts move down and join with the cystic duct the same side from the left and right side of the liver this is the gall bladder and then move down So when the food is entered from the stomach into the duodenum, the cells of the intestine sense the entry of fatty acids and proteins and other nutrients and this presence the presence of soft, uh, proteins and fatty acids in the intestine sense uh, causes the release of cck so mainly the cholecystokinin is uh, released uh, when the food entered from the stomach to the duodenum whenever the fatty acids and the protein portion mainly entered into the duodenum the cholecystokinin starts secreting and along with the secretion of cholecystokinin secreting is also released suppose here releases secretin and cholecystokinin when the cholecystokinin and secretin is released this cholecystokinin along with the blood circulation is their hormone so they can enter into the blood circulation and with the blood circulation they will reach to their destination so what happened this cholecystokinin come with blood and act on the gallbladder and causes the contraction of gallbladder and also it performs its action to relax the sphincters which are need to be open to release or entry of bile into the duodenum so what happened this is what we call as sphincter of od it was it will be closed in the beginning so this is sphincter of OD is opened or relaxed by the cholecystokinin so this cholecystokinin also act or here and causes the relaxation of this sphincter when this sphincter is closed the bile can easily enter into the duodenum this is the function of cck and what is the function of secretin 
the secretin directly act on here on the smaller ductules and causes the release of bicarbonate ions in water so what they do they enhance or increase the watery portion of the bile so the secretin causes these ductules to release or to secrete water and bicarbonates into the bile bile is also coming from the liver and bile is also stored in the gallbladder so from here due to the contraction of the gallbladder the bile starts moving here and from here also piles come to the duodenum so this is the main uh, role of uh, cholecystokinin in secretin the secretin act on the smaller ductules and causes the secretion of the bicarbonates and the water to the bile and the cholecystokinin through the blood reach to the uh, gallbladder and causes the contraction of the gallbladder so when it's contract the bile will uh, get out of the gallbladder and move to the uh, duodenum whenever it is reach here the cholecystokinin also act on the sphincter of ori and causes the relaxation of sphincter of ori once the uh, sphincter of ori is relaxed the bile can easily enter into the duodenum and here they perform their actions